click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends we have discussed halse plan and rohan plan we'll do one question where we'll be comparing the wages calculated of a worker by applying both the plans let us read question a worker produced 200 units in weeks time the guaranteed weekly wage payment for 45 hours is rupees 81 the expected time to produce one unit is 15 minutes expected time means standard time which is raised further by 20% under the incentive scheme what will be the earnings per hour of that worker under halse 50% sharing and rovan bonus schemes we are required to first calculate expected time to produce one unit under incentive schemes the expected time to produce one unit is 15 minutes this is given in the question and here the expected time to produce is 15 minutes which is raised further by 20% so 15 plus 3 it comes to 18 minutes to produce one unit wage rate per hour the guaranteed weekly wage payment for 45 hours is rupees 81 total wages divided by number of hours so it is 1 rupee 80 paise per hour so time allowed for actual weekly production is 60 hours time saved is equal to time allowed minus time taken here it is given 45 hours so for 60 hours minus 45 hours there is time saved 15 hours now we can calculate earnings time saved we have 15 hours formula is hours worked multiplied by rate 45 hours worked rate per hour we are required to consider that is 1 rupee 80 paise plus half multiplied by time saved time saved is 15 hours multiplied by rate 1 rupee 80 paise so it is rupees 94 and 50 paise as per halse plan we can calculate rate of earnings formula is total earnings divided by hours taken 
टोटल अर्निंग नाइन्टी फोर रुपीज फिफ्टी पैसे आवर्स टेकन फोर्टी फाइव सो इट इज टू रुपीज टेन पैसे पर आवर दिस वी हैव कैलक्युलेटेड एज पर हेल्से प्लान लेटेस्ट कैलक्युलेट अंडर नाउ रोवन प्लान so under rowan plan we are required to apply the formula earnings is equal to hours worked multiplied by rate per hour plus time saved divided by time allowed multiplied by time taken multiplied by rate per hour here time taken is given 45 hours and we have calculated standard time expected time to produce one unit under incentive schemes 15 minutes which is further increased to 20% addition 15 minutes plus 3 18 minutes time allowed for actual weekly production that is 200 units multiplied by 18 minutes divided by 60 minutes so we got time allowed that is standard hours 60 hours we have also calculated time saved time allowed minus time taken time allowed 60 hours time taken 45 hours so we have saved time 15 hours here hours worked Forty five hours rate per hour one rupee eighty paise time saved we have calculated time saved fifteen hours divided by time allowed it is sixty hours. multiplied by actual time taken 45 hours multiplied by rate per hour that is 1 rupee 80 paise 45 hours multiplied by 1 rupee 80 paise 81 rupees plus 15 hours divided by 60 hours 1 by 4 multiplied by 45 multiplied by 1 rupee 80 paise if we solve this it comes to 20 rupees 25 paise 20 rupees 25 paise Plus eighty one rupees, it comes to hundred and one rupees twenty five paise. So under Rowan plan, total earnings are rupees hundred and one and twenty five paise. We can calculate effective rate of earnings. total earnings rupees 101 and 25 paise divided by time taken 45 hours so it comes to 2 rupees 25 paise per hour this is calculated as per rowan plan under helse plan rate was 2 rupees 10 paise 
under Rowan plan, we find it 2 rupees 25 paise. So from worker's point of view, in this case, Rowan plan stands better than Halse plan. Total earnings of the worker 94 rupees 50 paise. Under Rowan plan, total earning is 101 rupees 25 paise. So total earnings are also more in case of Rowan plan. Thus, in this one question, we have compared total earnings of worker under Halsey and Rowan plan as well as we have compared effective rate of earnings where we found that Rowan plan is better for workers in relation to Halsey plan. Thanks for watching this video. Stay in tune with Ikida and subscribe to our channel Ikida. Thank you.